I know it's one thing I missed the proof is down here in this paragraph we're discussing the certified free cash. Three, two, two. It says Mr. Kruger stated that we should put 600000 away for the new well. I wanted to look at where we generated the free cash from. I didn't want to put the whole 600000 I want to put the money, like for paying of the tank, whatever free cash was generated from the extra money that we generated from uh, sprinkler fees, uh -huh. that should go toward mortgage payments or painting of the tank or future painting of the tank because we can't use we shouldn't be using their money to finance up other things and we got to look at how much money we actually brought in uh, from water revenue that was over and above the, the budget so you know I, I'm not looking to put the whole six hundred thousand into free cash but we need, but we need to allocate it to projects so that the finance committee doesn't think we have all this free money. Do you want to take that sentence out? Yeah, just take that out. I just want to see it allocated right. Did you have some changes there? I was thinking of actually the last one, not this one. Oh, so one from the last meeting. This is too. Was that what you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a September 17th. Oh, yeah. Do you have any changes to that? No. That oh. was fine. Do you have anything to talk? Nope. Okay. Do I hear a motion to accept the minutes? Yep. Second. All in favor? Aye.
electric bill go up? Uh, I haven't looked at that recently. Do you know what it is? I don't. Okay. I can pull it. I don't know off the top of my head. Are we still getting credits on the exact same one? Yes. Yeah. I was trying to figure out, I was reading this bill, trying to figure out how much we're actually getting. Like, we change the way we get it. Originally, you could tell them easier. But I, I, don't, I don't see them. Now they like, apply it to different things. Right? Originally, yeah. wasn't it was easy to break out exactly right. what you're doing on. Now they take it. I think we're paying it. That was almost paying for half our electric cost, wasn't it, at one point, Wayne? Um, it doesn't look it like it anymore because uh, this, the electric bill down here is 2200 bucks. That's why I was asking. You just just around this, this well, that well, it's this well, and number one, these are tied together. Yeah. So, this But that's good. still about the size it used to be. Right. Under the old electric bills. But they, they might not be one that they apply it to. They, they pick specific bills and apply it to it. Oh. It's not every bill gets a, a portion of it. Oh, I see. Only certain ones. Like I know the spotlight at the top of the hill gets it 100%. I don't know why. It doesn't use oh, that. wow. <laughs> it doesn't use I that. think that was $16 or something. <laughs> I'm more interested in the 2200 bucks. Right. Oh, so. That's a holdover from Phyllis. And as many times as we've tried to pay it because it's an old bill, you can't pay it. So now it's come back as a new bill because they've turned it over to somebody else for collection. So we're finally going to get to pay it. We've been trying now for about four years. But I saw Phyllis's name on the thing. I saw the yeah. yeah. I asked the same thing earlier. So last time. Terry explained it. I got a movie earlier because you can't get out of Manly Street and West Street at this time of night. No, you have to find all the streets. It's all the way back past the ride. Oh, that's back. Hey, did you come? Yeah, no matter what, you got to come through that four way. Yeah, either that or go through the rock, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you talking about? That's usually no better. No. I didn't 
get this at the last meeting already? Yeah. Yeah, but probably that was the agenda. That was on the agenda, so we, that's right. Their intent is personnel changes that there'll be a policy in place that just continues forward when I'm not here or Chris isn't here. I have uh, I have no no, no problem with it. I'm not signing it because anything that Gagney and uh, the board of selectmen sign doesn't mean anything anyways. They don't honor it, so I'm not signing it. But I'll live up to it, whatever you know. I'll agree with it. But well, I tell you that we've had um, a nice. officer came to visit us because yeah. there's yeah, a patch in front of his house. Of course, the gas company yeah. just did that part of East Street, so they there's patches everywhere now. Yeah. So he's complaining and his house vibrates. I think you've heard about it, Tom. Who's that? Uh, Mr. Oh, yeah. 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 So Who's the first thing, so it we it? have an old patch. So the first thing that Highway did was says, "Oh, that's the water department's patch." So I looked it up. Oh, it was five years ago. <laughs> Listen, what I told him, it was a joint in the county. I said, "Rub your hand over that joint in the county, you can feel it." Yeah. It's a joint in the road, you're gonna. Right. I, I told him that patch is probably one of our best patches that turned out. Yes. Yeah. And it helped. Five, it's five years old, we don't own it anymore. Right. You don't own it anymore. Five years, I'm not going to own it anyways. Yeah. But the highway department told them that it was. They got to stop so. throwing everything at us, you know. So what happened? He, did he make a formal complaint about it? Well, he's just, when well, I went down and talked to him anyways and spent about 30 minutes with him, but I mean, yeah, when the big trucks come over, they're hitting the gas patches and the big trucks make a nice seismic vibration. You can feel it in the ground, but it's nothing I can do about it. I didn't make that mess. So this is the agreement we talked to those guys about way back in the day. Right, and that's all they did was they just want something in writing so that as I leave, Chris leaves, whoever's left still has to abide by that agreement. I, I really wanted it. I thought it was a good thing that they were going to help us and uh, we could use their hot box, right? Right, we've always been able to use that hot box. Or, or, well, that's the way it should be anyway, so I don't know why you have to have a signed agreement. But. And if we do a decent job, we're not going to have a problem with it in a year or anything. Right. I'm still calling one of the guys. I'm letting them know whenever we patch so that yeah. they can send a guy if they want. Yeah, that's, 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 that's good. That's working together. Right. And if you don't want to sign it, we can both accept the agreement. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I don't. I don't. I mean, I'd like to see us not on the patch for the year if we didn't have to. Right. That's not going to happen. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's fine. It goes along with what we had. Yeah. So do I hear a motion? I make I make a motion. We accept the road patching policy as proposed. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think it's a good thing because now for a year, stop throwing us under the bus. After that, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, I mean, there's a five-year-old hole up there telling us not ours anymore. Well, I hate to have somebody out there complaining, but I don't really it's not even you up I know, don't tell the customer. customer. You don't have to tell the customer that. Tell the highway department. It's five years old. We just made an agreement that anything over a year old. Well, basically, what I told them is if I take it out, it may not go in as good as it is right now. Leave it alone. It's what was that patch is fine. What was it for? It was for the new service across the street. Oh. The, the oh. house across oh. the street. House across yeah. The street. Yeah, that's what it got tore up pretty bad. Yeah, There's they a lot of a lot of patches in that section. Yeah, and that's what it's his gas service that goes across that the trucks are hitting because there's a big patch on the other side of the road. Well, you got the new something there. I see. You got to put a new another well, house in there, so they'll be digging up. Yeah, that's wall. further down. That's near the red barn. But they're not going to make it this year at this rate. I saw the road, the driveway is going right to the left. Of I know, I the saw that, but they keep telling me that it's the land down the street. I don't get it. No. This looks like it's going into the, the apple farm. Yeah, right across the street, basically. So it'll be another patch yeah. going in. That's uh, the, the father's house, and this is the new house he just built, Josh's house. And there must be. Sister, or somebody must be building a house back here. Yeah. One lot, something. Yeah. So they, but this is where the driver. He's saying that no, it's going up the street. But they have another lot down the street that's for right. sale too. But, oh, but it's not going there. Right. Oh no, 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 that's not the as the same. No, it's not. Yeah. The one next to the barn. Yeah. The old uh, Kemp property. Yeah. yeah. He's talking about the one behind the Kemp. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, no, it's not yeah but that's not no, it. That's anything All right. That. So that, that's where the, the bump is now because the patch was from this yes. house. And they're going to be doing another one. And he had to get a lot of service in there, so there'll be more bumps. Let's do the best job we can patch them. That's all you can do. Yeah. Well, they should get moving on it because um, Mr. Anderson indicated to Mr. Hobbs that they may be repaving that road. Oh, jeez. I try not to ask too many questions. No, I think but it'd be nice to let know in case there's anything we want to rip I thought he indicated next year, but I'm hearing that second hand. So well, if they're going to, if you hear that, you're going to find out if they're going to be block talking. Yeah. Because if they're planning on building a house back there, if even they're not going to start at the spring, and you've got time now, maybe you better put the service in. Because if they block talk it first thing in the spring, and you're not ready, to, you're too busy doing something else, and they pave it, you, they won't get it for five years. Yeah. So just it's all sand up there. It's like beach sand. Yeah. It's an easy. Uh, that's an easy dig. Anybody have anything else? Uh, Wayne wanted to talk about manpower again. Is that on there? Yeah, that's on there. We put that on every. Yeah, on every week. You put that on there every, every week. <coughs> we know you need more help. But we're still pumping over a million gallons a day, so. Jesus. We were usually down to around 700,000? Yeah, in the past, but it, you, know, you saw that up there, and it's never really gone back down. It's still at a million? Yeah. It's, um, Can't imagine the sprinkle systems are working. Yeah, but water water water. Water. Yeah. Thank you. So the bottom line is <laughs> the bottom line is the million gallon mark, and we've been above that for a long time now. The center line, that way? Yeah, yeah, that. The dot is blue. Oh, the dot is blue. No, the, no the this one right here. here. This one right here. That's the million oh, gallon. Oh, that's the million gallon. Yep. Yeah. Once we went up, we never came back down, and it's not. The blips you see, those are communications, that's other issues that oh, I just think it drops out. Yeah, it's not so. So what's my What's the dotted blue? That's uh, three stations running, so hopefully we never approach that. Because mm -hmm. we'd be flat out at that point. Even at two stations, we're pushing it. Not good. <coughs> no. How about overnight? We're getting good shutdowns now because we're it's raining, so we're going to have to watch our. Um, I'll have to look at the commitment because we've had a lot of rain this summer, so that kind of hurts. The usage didn't go down. Right, it hasn't gone down. As long as it went through the meters. Yeah. Well, that would make a difference if it didn't go through the meters. <laughs> we're going to know in a couple of months when I do the annual reporting. We can't tell them yet. There's no way for me. I've tried every way. Nothing correlates out correctly to do that. So, a, a, a billing cycle should tell you all, right? I've tried that too, but it, it didn't match up. But as, we, as we're working our way through the Badger transfer, so that we go up into the cloud and into the new system, they're moving things out that get in my way, so We'll see after they do that if that doesn't help me in doing that. Yeah, I should be able to teach Which each commitment and look at that three month period. Um, they're having issues because there's stuff in our billing stuff that uh, Carrie can probably explain it more because I'm just calling it stuff. But like the riser accounts are in there. We build them, but they're in there and Badger doesn't, or the billing company, some Badger doesn't want them in there. Right. Because it's not. It's not a metered account. Right. The new system is really runs on the meter numbers and the IP numbers. Oh, so we can't handle this. Right. So we have to move out things that aren't metered versus things that, that we build. Like, like what are we to move out? So like sprinkler accounts, oh. all like the water. Anything that's not metered. Correct. Right. So that you got to need another system or like a, you have a tag along type system to keep track of all that filling? 
we'll be able to keep them in the filling. It won't be in badger form. Oh, I see. Okay. And if we can get it separated out, broken down on the commitment, I'd like to have it. Yeah. Okay. We will. So, what do you think, Wayne? Any concern that we still have a leak? Uh, well, I'll know in a couple of months when I do the annual report, and it either adds up or it doesn't add up. Yeah, we're shutting down. So we it, it shut down. So, so, so overnight it is yeah. dropping from where it was when we right. first had that spike. Yep. But with all the rain, we're getting good shutdowns and the water table's up. So and my sump pump's still dry, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Is there anything else on the agenda? Does anybody have anything else you want to discuss? New service. Oh, yeah. What tender are you looking at? Oh, new service, Southgate Avenue and Ames Drive. Oh, new service. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to tie that in, but that's not going to be a subdivision that goes anywhere. And they probably laid one stick of pipe down there. But if I tap them in at the end of that stick of pipe, then they're going to have eight inches of dirty water. They'll be no, they'll be the only user on that stick or two of pipe. And you put one house. Yeah, and it's basically going to go back around in behind number one. And that pipe's already there, right? Right. They put it in there. So they were wondering if we could cut the pipe back off near the valve and put a cap on it with a threaded connection and just cap them out that way. That's uh, C900, why don't you just have pull it, where's the house going? It's going in, pretty much in behind number one, but it would have to be out from under the high lines. So probably yeah, be over here. That's going to be wet as hell now. Yeah. So why don't you just have them extend that pipe, that pipe down one more length or so and put a hydrant in there. Then you can flush that line out. Yeah. So you don't have a dead line there forever. You've already got a hydrant. There's a hydrant right there on that corner, though. There's already a good mule right there. It's right. Well, right what are you going to do with that line that's been put in there years ago? I just you sanded it back. Yeah, I just sanded it back. Right, it's right there. It's a three way T. It's a three, three way T. So, what do you think? Right three way T. Right? I'd like to go back to the gate and then take that length off. We'll yeah, take the line length off. It's basically just a house service at this point. Right. Put a thread yeah. in the cap on the pipe and then I just hate seeing a piece of pipe like that stay in there forever. Yeah, you know, and about take it out. Take it out. It's plastic. It's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anybody or anything. If somebody digs they might but no Yeah, if somebody will wax it someday you But if uh, whoever owns the land behind if they can ever connect through or I don't know if they ever will. It's really wet back there. Cause right. I used to live right there, and they skated back there. I think that's the only Ajax land. Yeah, I'm pretty there. sure it is. Yeah. So that's why. So you I'm want to take it. take it right back over to the gate valve? Yep. Yeah, right back there, and just cut it off. Put an end cap, put an end cap on it, and then I'll come out. You know what? Before you cut it off, ask ask Young Donnie if he's ever going to try to do no. something back there. I mean, if they do, then they Because I think it. that's what that guy was planning on doing. He was going to try to buy Isaac's land back there at right. one time when he, when he built that subdivision. But they, yeah, they didn't want to sell, but you never know what uh, the family's going to do now, you know? Yeah, because he's got stubs on the other end, too. But you, it, they're both facing water. It's wet. There's water there. They'd have to cross water, and I don't know if they'll get away with that. I think they've been a long time getting this lot approved as it is. Yeah, oh, it's well, nobody wanted to spend the money because it's. It's uh, wet. And I think Concon's held them up for a long time, too. That, and you're going to have those high lines those right in your front yard. The helicopters fly them regularly looking at them, so you won't see the guy in the helicopter <laughs> really well. If they ever do decide to go through, they're going to put it next to right. the next right. to back. Yeah, put it back in right now. Yeah, yeah. just take it. Yeah, there's just yeah. a little bit of a Yeah. Take it right back, put a one in service off that. Off. Yeah, it's either that or I can go back out to Southgate Drive and cap them out there and just leave the pipe alone. No, then you get a dead pipe there, then we're going to be This way, at least they're off the road, they're not going to affect the road. If they're in there, it's... So to do what you want to do, yeah. back them out, we have, 
Is it in the street? Is it paved? It is paved in the street, but it, it's basically in the turn part of it. It's in the entrance, not in the main part of South Cape. Right. And we did that. You wouldn't have to get into the main road of South Cape. No, it's it's truly it's even more off the edge, I think, than what it's shown there. What's that blue line? Is that a brook? That's the water. There is a big pond. There's, there is water there. That's why I don't think anybody will ever be able to build there. Go back out. See, if you look, there's a pond. They, they skated on this pond. Well, they used to get it. It's over that was a detention base when they built that road. I think so, yeah, because the storm drains do empty into it. But it stays wet year-round, because when I lived in that area, the, the, the frogs were nice to sleep to. Of course, when they went silent, you were like, all right, what's moving around? <laughs> you need a boat for us to tell you? No, to do I'm, that just, just no I'm just running it by you. Agree for you to do it that way. Yep. Yeah, because I think the Maronis are the ones that are going to be working in that. I'm not sure who actually has the lot that's built in it. So you just got to go out onto the street there and just do a regular tap? I can, but I was just going to cut the pipe and put an end cap on it and be done with it. Because I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere, but... Yeah, but... Even if it did go somewhere someday, you just tap it into the right. They just yeah, if they then, come in, you just you've got the T there already. You got the gate valve just now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the gate valve. We'll just be just beyond the gate valve. Well, what I'm saying is, how are you gonna get that house water? That's what he's, that's what he's saying. He's gonna, I'm gonna, gonna cut the pipe, put an end cap on it with a threaded hole, one inch hole, and then thread my fork into that. Yep. Yeah. And you're gonna keep that cap on. I'm going to thrust block it, yes. From Megalog? they make a cap on Megalog? Yeah, no, I thrust block You could make a lot of but they still don't want it. you got to thrust block you got to yeah, put thrust block like on either side because they're going to have to get around the cap. Around then the, then the if you ever have to dig it up, now you're, now you're dealing with a big piece of cement or a big... See that, or I can just cap it a little further down and then come off the side. I just pick it off the side, it would be better. Either one, as the cap's on, it'll blow off. Right, yeah, yeah, no, it won't take, blow off on one another. Can you rot it? Back to the... Uh, we probably you can. can. Yeah, then, you, then you get to be digging back for the love of the south gate, too. Yeah, yeah, I don't really want to. The couple of thrust blocks are... And if we don't dig it that much and we leave enough virgin earth, then I can just block it in. Station one is uh, Watermark Electric, is the very guy that I use for our VFDs. Uh, so I asked him when he was here how much it would cost to convert station four over. There are two drives there, so it would be two VFDs. And he said probably around 9,000 a piece complete, programmed, ready to go. Station well five is pretty much throttled off. That we have the gate almost closed, so that would basically the 18000 we spent in VFDs would be paid for because you're running a 20 horse motor deadheaded. Right, that's crazy. What, is it over pumps the well? Yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, the drawdown. We're running right now about seven feet above the well. If I open it up, we could have to about three. How many horsepower motor you got down there? That's a 20 horse because they redid that one recently. It, it finally burnt out. And, and they, did they put a bigger motor in it? No, I, no they didn't. The old motor, though, the pipe was all rotted and corroded, so yeah. it kind of helped it. But we'd always run right around five or six feet above the... the so when you pump it out of that, about 250? Uh, out of that one well? Yeah. No, not much of anything. Probably about 75 or 80 gallons a minute. Oh, jeez. Because I can't open it up, it'll just draw it right down. And right. I've had that well so rehab, so... Yeah. It's got to be cleaned. It has been cleaned. It has it been cleaned and it was yeah. up. So what, what we should look at is moving that because that was a 500 gallon a minute well it was supposed to be and what happened was we were supposed to do a pull down and the casing was never pulled down, it was hammered and the sand at the, at the lower layers was fine and they it just 
packed them, when they were hammered, it packed the soil so tight that our test well actually got more water than the developed well. So we were running about 250 gallons a minute instead of 500. But now he says we're all the way down to 70. So that means it's just got tighter and tighter. So I'd suggest that we look at doing, abandon the well, because DEP's going to give you permission to, you know, give that one up and put another one in, as long as you stay within 50 feet, mm -hmm. and just do another whole pull down and try to get into, is that, there is nice material down there. Yeah, I mean. And then we should be able to get closer to 300, I think it was 250 easy continuously. If we get, and we've got to put the contract this time that they can't hammer. This is soils. As you start on um, Norman Avenue, they're real bony gravel, big rocks. And then as you come this way through Sears Street, the, the, they get finer. And then as you get way down this way, they're even, even finer sands. But there's a lot of water. But the sands get finer as it comes this way. And the, the refusal goes down, it's deeper than Norman Avenue Well. The bottom is like 45 feet, I think. These are only at 30. So the better materials are on that toward Norman Avenue and the deeper materials. But that's still a good well, but it should be doing better than seven or something else a minute. It started out at three, we used to get 350 out of it. Yeah. Well, it's hard because it's a combined well, so you just see the two together for the most part. But we get about 500. If I if I open that gate up, we get 500 out of the combined system. But the drawdown is too. It so where you get that right now? Uh, we're down, I think, like 450. Oh, okay. So this one here is really yielding. Yeah, this one's yielding. Okay. And it's not the drawdown is good, so we're we're not having any issues. Yeah, but we don't want to over pump that one and damage mm -hmm. that one. Right. Because well, we that's why I, so, yeah, I so, just had station two rehab, so I'll just keep trying to say So that. maybe we yeah. should consider that for as a budget um, option for this year is redevelop it or develop it all the well, and then the one we have and get something decent out there. We need the water. Yeah, if we keep flowing like that, we do it. Yeah. It appear it's coming down. And that's, and that's something that's already permitted that we don't have to worry about. Right, they don't have to chase anybody yeah. because we already have the permission to draw it. Yeah. But you were looking for what, two different, two VFDs, one for right. L4, one for L5? Yeah. It still makes sense because I think it's a good get, idea. when you get into an issue, you can dial it down. I can dial it down. And then if we develop another well, you can just use it on the other right. well. Right, the still good. If, as long as, we, as long as that, that's what I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, if we're going to do that, we'll be better off do well four. So you have the VFD on that if you need to throttle it, and wait for well five until we replace it and do it at the same time. Or we have to make sure up front that when well five gets done, we're not throwing that away. Yeah, the drives are sized to the horsepower, so it might be better just to table the VFD and see how long it would yeah. take to turn around for a new well instead. To make sure we size it right. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, they're going to be sized for a 20 and it comes to 30 yeah. yeah. right. 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 plus power. It's not going to work. And we don't have any other 20 plus power motors, so we, we couldn't reuse it anywhere. Well, let's, let's uh, why don't you have, um, what's his name, the engineer look at it, and give us a price. Patrick. Or, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Have and give us a price to uh, replace that well. Just move it. That's not a lot of. That's not a lot of red tape for doing that. Yeah. And before we go looking for new, we make sure we've got what we use yeah. to have too. Yeah. It's kind of help us otherwise. Station one, we passed all our tests, so we're just waiting on DEP now. Um, the only issue that I had was the size of let me
So we come out one inch with our carry water, but they did that at the injection point, and the spec said one inch. Well, that's not one inch, those tubings. So when I run my carry water pumps, my suction and my discharge pressures are the same, which means that I'm going to eventually heat up in the pumps. That I, if it gets hot enough, it'll just melt the pipes. So I'm going to go redo it. So that's what I did today. I sent off an email and told them that it's not acceptable. Yeah, that's real good. Bones yeah, we get. Yeah, they, all three of them, they size down. I mean, if the pipes were there before they even did any of that work, you could see the one inch pipe sitting there. Should it even be plastic tubing like that? I, I kind of thought it was, it's not, it's really rigid tubing. I yeah. actually like it because you could see into it, but. It's rigid, what do you mean rigid? It looks flexible. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's hard plastic. It's not going to blow apart. But if the water starts heating up in the carry water, eventually you'll melt it and it'll become like jello flopping around. And it will pop out. I saw one that was a stainless steel bridge. Yeah, so that's probably the KOH potassium hydroxide. That's got to be a well, stainless bridge. Yeah, well, it's nastier. You don't. Yeah. What size pipe is that? Is that like three eighths? Yeah, it's it's thin. Oh, yeah, you It's kidding. less than half. Well, the, and the I've got a one-inch pump, it. right? Right. You got a one-inch. So one I inch. let her know right away after we finished our trials, and I just oh. sent another email to document that I'm letting her know it's not acceptable. What did Patrick say? I, Patrick hasn't seen it. It's uh, Megan that's really the engineer on this job. For Taylor now? Yeah, and she said it was the specs called for one inch, so that's why I sent out the email today to tell them it. it so didn't we just approve their bill? That's dangerous. Yeah, you did approve to pay them, but they haven't said that they're not coming back yet either. She has to. Is that payment in full? We just approved. Um, I didn't see the payment, so I can't tell you if it is or it isn't. I don't think it's set the percentage on the uh, water. Let me see if I have that in here. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes them to get out here. down there at that valve, they are just pulling valves off. So what is it? it's just those short runs plane, right? Because everything yeah. else is pipe one inch? Yeah, it's just that about well, three feet there. Just from those ball valves? Well, the, yeah. cork, the top of the cork could be three quarter. Yeah, it looks like So it's neck down. Is that a one inch cork they got on those two? Yeah, that looked like one inch. But the, yeah, because you can see right there the necking down on that one right there. That's, that's a bushing right That there. doesn't even look one inch right there. Right? right, that looks like three quarter coming up and out. But that's for the we'll pressure see. sensor anyway. We'll see. That's not a yeah, yeah, that's the pressure transducer. Okay. But if you look at the section in between, that looks like three quarter. I don't see that we got very much money left on that. Well, the injection no, might, it might not be. A lot of times that noise will go in the place of the mine is left there anyway. Right, because right. it's got to slide through the coil. It's got to slide through when you want to get the velocity in the right. places. But, they but the main be. line's coming through there, sure. Right. right. Yeah. I don't think we'll have a problem with dangerous things. Yeah, I think we'll make yeah, 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 We haven't paid them 100% of them. That ain't what they're still No, they still have payrolls coming through that haven't paid it yet. Most of the mine we own is an electrical. It's 29,000. So uh, it looks like to date they've built 169,000. That's a $224,000 contract, right? Yeah. So I mean, we're not paying in full by any means. I'm reading this right. 
still we're still gonna own fifty four thousand. Well, what are we have to change to keep the back on it? We got eight thousand eighty four hundred. Yeah, and so even if we were paying up towards the end, just right. that's the way we're paying it, it's gonna come back and replace that. Right. So we're fine. Yeah. I wasn't sure where we were at when we thought we were pretty close to hundred percent paid. It just makes it easier for them to put the connection up to the back. Go down to the tube. And then station two, they finished rehabbing, and that came back. It came up from 360 gallons a minute to 450 gallons a minute. We passed all our tests, so it's back online. That was Mark. Which you say well too? Yeah. And you you only got it back to 450? Yeah. Really? Then you go to 500? No. Uh, but the drawdown's really good. It's running right around 47 feet. How come? How come you couldn't get 500? I. The pump, the pump won't do it, or, or your drawdowns go down too far. No, the drawdowns. We're at forty-seven feet above the well for drawdown. So the pump isn't isn't putting out any more than that. And and did you replace you replaced the pump motor, right? Yeah, the electric motor. Yeah, the so pump and bowls got replaced. But the mo electric motor. Yeah, the electric motor went. That's what's right. So how come we're not getting five hundred? I can't tell you that one. But who who they, decides that all? Up? Ma did the work, and he said it brought it back to what it was in the past. It was always 500. Yeah, I'm at 450 right now. It's running right now. Hmm. That's that station two. No and is that, is, no is that that's got a variable speed controller on it? No, that doesn't have a VMD. That's oh. just control center. On and go. That has a car call. Okay. If we get the lead one, to add one bolt and replace the pump and motor. No, no. It's pretty much all standard three bolt. Okay. I don't understand that. Hmm. Tell me how small the motor is that? I believe that one's a 50, but I'm, I have to look at the paperwork. It's either a 30 or a 50, but I thought it was a 50. Hmm. Is charge pressure the same? Yeah, everything else. It, it's, it is still putting out the right pressure coming out. Yeah. Right. We, we, uh, when we built that, we serviced that at a thousand gallons a minute, and we had plenty of water over the... Yeah, there's plenty of water. It's 47 feet above the well, so there's plenty of water sitting there. Ask Peter Ma why, why we didn't get back up to 500. If there's plenty of water up over the top of the, the screen, up over the top of the pump. Why we didn't get up to 500? Because we need it. And uh, and also we're permitted for it. We don't want to give up any permitted water. You know? Yeah. Anybody got any 
any questions or anything they want to say? No questions. No. Nope. Oh, I did find out what the... Oh, you really guessed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. in that field, that's the track team requested that that track be done. Oh, for cross country or something? Yeah. It's not. Huh. What's it right. like that? Yeah, they wanted it done like that. Is, is that to get them their mileage? They, they, I forget what it says. They can run through the field without getting ticks on them. I was just going to say, to get their ticks or their mileage? <laughs> <laughs> well, Billy still does the field. They, they requested Billy to do it like that so that they could have like a cross country kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah, they have it that way for their own training purposes. Well, that's, I thought you did that with that, with John's. Uh, I thought you were a out there. Yeah, I thought, well, you, I that, 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 I thought you drove that buggy around out there. That's what I thought it was. No, no. When I saw it one other time, I was, I said, that's got to be Paula's track out there. No, no. No, that's the, the high school track team. Oh. Yeah, because they use our, when it's dry, they come through here, too. And they go all back and run. But yeah, that's the course they like. I guess for the what little hills and whatever are out there. Yeah. Can I make a motion to adjourn? Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, all in favor?